Homosexual groups and pro-family groups may not see eye to eye on sexuality, but many in both camps agree with Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Singh's call for tolerance and accommodation on the subject. Pearl Force reports. The AWARE saga brought many divisive issues to the forefront and sociologists doubt these will be resolved despite their airing. In a situation, in a conflict where values are involved, there is never a win-win situation. Huh? So if you push on on one side, then the other side will have to retreat. So then you force the polarity and that's not, I don't think that's very healthy then. Which is one reason why analysts say the government decided to give a response. Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Singh said that while Singapore is a conservative society, homosexuals are entitled to their private lives. He stressed the importance for different groups to live and let live, a view welcomed by many, including homosexuals. The gay community is pro-family. We have families, we love our families, and our families love us. So I, I'm really concerned that the pendulum in Singapore has seems to have swung so far to the right. What he said in the news, uh, you know, to the press is very important because it's, what's, it's what brings Singapore firmly back to the center. I agree with the government that we, the two critical uh, values we need to have is respect and tolerance. Just as much as the small conservative group's views should not be forced on the mainstream, uh, similarly the, the liberals' views should not be forced on the rest of us. And all say it's important to agree to disagree. Now, the church may not water down its stand on homosexuality, but it hopes for better understanding when engaging the issue with other groups. This, according to the Bishop of the Anglican Church in Singapore, Dr. John Chu. And as such as Cheney finds out, other religious groups agree tolerance is vital. As Christians go for prayers this Sunday, church leaders will probably address the current debate on homosexuality after the government's recent response on the issue. And the Bishop of the Anglican Church says there needs to be some fine tweaking of the way it's handled. I think we have to recalibrate our perception, our understanding of the common space huh? and how should we engage and how should we address one another. The bishop says Christians who need clarification will be encouraged to see the bigger picture. And other religious groups say the matter needs to be treaded on carefully and that people need to be mindful that Singapore is a secular country with a fine multiracial balance and that's something the country cannot afford to tamper with. The language that we use, the words that we use uh, are very important because we have to really take care of the sensitivities of people who may not uh, believe the same way that we do. All of us have our own religious beliefs and interests and points of view. If we begin to push too hard, others will also begin to push. What we want to do is to grow the common ground. And in growing that common ground, Dr. Jacob says Singaporeans should not mix religion with politics. 